So back in Vietnam, one of my favorite places on earth. I came to the legendary land of Vietnam, Anthony Bourdain's favorite place to taste, to savor, and create unforgettable memories. Now I have a confession, I've dipped my chopsticks into Vietnamese food before in Indonesia and it was not impressive. So I was curious if Vietnamese food in Vietnam is awful as well. The first dish I looked for was one of Vietnam's favorite dishes, a truly legendary dish invented in the ancient imperial capital of Vietnam, Hue. We have a bumbahe. Bumbahe is not your average noodle soup. The broth is made by some magician, super tasty. Thing is, to the average Vietnamese here, there is no McDonald's. This is their fast food. This can be their breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And as you can see, there's beef noodles and the super saiyan broth i am so excited to try this the noodles look so pretty mm. tasty that's half every spoon feels like it's telling you a vietnamese tale inviting you to take another sip and unlike pho almost every place makes great bumbahe super vietnamese saiyan dish I, uh, photo? Photo? Next, I was walking down the street, minding my own business, when I ran into this lady making this thing that would instantly catch your attention. Is this called Joyce? Yeah. Joyce is probably the lazy housewife's secret weapon since it doesn't look that hard to make. I don't know. This is the stuff of legends on the streets. Old, old ladies will be selling it, but of course you get higher quality here in places like uh, Joy Jen. What makes Joyce different, you ask? Well, it's a bed of rice, and what's on top? You decide. Will pork, liver, or creamy stuff like coconut milk? Thing is, it gets crazy because each region in Vietnam has their own version of joish. In some regions, joish is a visual spectacle. It comes in all kinds of colors, white, black, red, whatever. So tasty. You got the crispy stuff from the fried onions. You got the juicy chicken and kind of sweet rice amazing stuff next i'm in vietnam so i had to try pho but man i was trying to find a good pho in indonesia and it was just all awful so my expectations were low when i came to ho chi minh they sell good this is vietnamese heaven i don't know if this is the best spot to get pho but it looks beautiful let's check it out Got some meat Mm. Oh man! As soon as you put it in your mouth, the warmth of the beef broth hits your mouth with all the flavors. Yeah, at the time the pho in Ho Chi Minh was amazing, but the story with pho gets a little bit more complicated because you can try amazing pho in Ho Chi Minh, but later you realize the pho in Ho Chi Minh sucks compared to the pho in Hanoi. Seriously, if you try pho in Hanoi and then come back to Ho Chi Minh, you can't eat it anymore. Next, I noticed some ladies on the street mixing a ton of ingredients to make this colorful snack for some teenagers. So I did a little research and it looked like Ban Tan Trong. Can I get a Ban Tan Trong? Imagine this, you sit by a sweet-faced lady and you watch her create a whirlwind of color and flavor, bringing together all that's needed to make this delightful dish. We're talking rice paper strips, thinly sliced mangoes, quail eggs, and who knows what else she uses to breathe life into Ban Tran Trong. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I got the epic dish. She literally found every Vietnamese ingredient, poured it in here. Nice lady. Wow. It's like spicy, sweet, yummy. And let me tell you, these Vietnamese people are addicted to this thing. And you will be too once you try it since you don't stand a chance against this delicious and addictive snack. Once you start, you can't stop. It is like a Vietnamese food garden up in here. Wow, super impressive. 